IGN's Comic-Con coverage brought to you by Death Race. In theaters August 22nd. Movie. Tell us a little bit about what the movie's about and uh, what role you play in it. Uh, it's about a group of individuals with special powers who are on the run or, or hiding from uh, a branch of the government called Division. Division is out to find these people with abilities and uh, test them with, with certain drugs to enhance their powers and turn them into kind of weapons. Um, so for the most part, if you have these powers, you kind of have a target on your back and you want to do whatever you can to avoid Division. Um, and, and essentially, long story short, uh, Dakota and I have to find uh, Camila's character. Camila is uh, a patient who they tested the drug on. She survived the testing, which has not happened, uh, and escaped. So Division is looking for her and we're looking for her. It's kind of a race to who can find her first. This was your first kind of introduction into the world of powers. Yes. Explain your powers. Well, in Push, I'm what they call a pusher, and she's basically can manipulate thoughts and alter people's memories and get into people's heads, which is ultimately the most dangerous ability in the whole movie. There's a lot of powers. There's, uh, there's shifters. You can change the shape of things. There's, uh, there's sniffs, where if you, know, if, if you gave me your watch and these sniffers can sniff the watch, they can see everywhere you've been with that watch. Ew. <laughs> Yikes. Um, movers, telekinetic, uh, clairvoyancy. I'm missing a few. Uh, there's, there's a bunch. There's like eight different powers. What power would you most want in real life? We didn't have this in the movie, but I'd take flight. Not invisibility? Eh, invisibility, I think we get old. You probably find out some things you didn't want to find out and then, you know, cry invisible tears. <laughs> I, I'd take flying. What would you do with this power if you had it in real life? Well, manipulate people's thoughts, I mean, then you get to have people think what you want them to think, do what you want them to do, which I think is quite useful. Do you think, do you think there's all kinds of information you'd find out by poking around in people's heads that you don't want to know? That too. That's really valid. But then you can change people's memories, maybe people think something that they are not thinking, change their past. 